Mom! Good heavens again! Now what happened? They cut the water off in the neighborhood again! What am I going to do? I have to be to school on time. We're going on a school trip today. I'll miss the bus. No natural fruit drink today. Would you like some coffee? No, thanks, Mom. Hi, I'm Jorge Hernandez, your English teacher. Today we're taking a volunteer trip to see how we can contribute to the health of our planet. was cut off and I'm missing all the good stuff. Excuse me for butting in, but if you had gotten up half hour early, you'd be on the trip like your sister. Jennifer is always on time because she gets up two hours early. Ridiculous. Uh-uh, Miguel. If we want to get there early, you have to get up on time. garbage. There is another bag in the garage. Sure, Mom. Oh, but first, hand me those batteries we replaced in the clock last night. Here they are. I'll go get the pile of old papers in my room. <gasps> Good idea. And since you're staying home today, why don't we get rid of all the junk we have to throw away? Well, I didn't go on a trip, but it looks like I'm ending up doing the same thing. Don't exaggerate, there is less garbage here than in the Tarkolis River. The Tarkolis is the most polluted river in the country, pouring tons of garbage into the ocean. That's why we're going to help with the cleanup of the beach. Everyone picks up as much garbage as they can so it can be taken to the dump. <laughs> Hi, honey. How it go? Great. You should see how much we picked up. Mm. Us too. Mom made me clean up and we took out six bucks of junk. Mm -hmm. You separated it, right? Or did you put it all in the same bags? Why? The only way to avoid the collapse of the planet is to manage garbage responsibly. And oh, yeah, Miguel, the teacher gave us a project to work on. It's due next Tuesday. You and I are a team. The Rodriguez siblings attack. Sure. I suggest that the group do research on how our habits have an impact on the planet and how we can reduce our environmental footprint. So, we start off by explaining the three R's of ecology, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Exactly. Then we show a photo of the bins that we put in the patio with different colors for plastic, paper, glass, and garbage. <clears throat> garbage? Organic waste, Miguel. Of course, teacher. I'm going to make a montage of the photos I took of the traffic jam to talk about air and sound pollution. Put in the ones that shows that there's only one person in almost every car. Great idea. And that's when you bring up the importance of shaving rights. Talking about something else, how do you feel about organizing a campaign for the city to pick up recycled garbage? I'm not sure. 
Do you think it will work? We have to try. That's the only way people will get interested in recycling. Excuse me for interrupting, but in which bin do I put these used batteries from the remote control? In none of them, Mom. We'll save them in a plastic bottle. When it's full, we'll turn them in so they can be recycled correctly. Why is that? Batteries release chemical substances. And when it rains, these chemicals filter into the earth and end up in our reservoirs. Oh my heavens, that is awful. If we all spend some time thinking about the little things we can do every day, we can build a sustainable society. Morning. Good morning. Hi. Mom, don't leave the coffee maker on. It uses unnecessary electricity. And we shouldn't use the sprinkler every day to water the lawn. It wastes water. After all the work you had to do for school, I have two environmentalists at home. It's not that. Or maybe it is. It's just about being responsible with the environment. It is possible to live in harmony with the environment. To do that, each one of us needs to make a decision. Don't you agree? I hope this video has improved your English and made you aware of this problem. Keep watching Prof. in Casa. See you. Thank you.